Hey guys, good morning. It's a beautiful day out here in Miami Beach. We are live from Ocean Drive. Hope you guys are having a good day today. Um, I want to talk to you guys about, you know, how to make sure that you actually get a remote job, right? As you guys can see, I'm, I'm out here in Miami, right? And I'm able to work from anywhere in the world. It's very simple, guys. And the answer is, you got to have a skill that is in high demand. And at the same time, you need to be somebody that's very knowledgeable in that skill. Okay? Nobody's going to pay you money to work from your house, from a beach, <laughs> from your backyard, from sidelines of the pool, right? Right next to the pool, right? They're not going to pay you a lot of money unless you actually know what you're doing, all right? Now, the skill that I have is programming, web development, right? That's what I focus on. And a lot of you guys that are watching this right now, most likely you guys are developers, engineers, uh, programmers, right? Or maybe just fans. Maybe just people that wanna find out how to actually become a developer or maybe how to just work from home. You get what I'm saying? So, how do you do this, man? It's very simple, man. You gotta learn how to code. Sounds funny, sounds cliche, sounds whatever you wanna call it, but it is what it is, right? There's a lot of things that you can do out here. You can do, you know, uh, selling products online. You can do real estate. You can do a whole bunch of things that you can work from home or work from wherever you live or wherever you're traveling to. But like I said, what I do is programming. I teach people how to code, right? And at the same time, thank God that I actually learned how to code, you know, back in 2011, right? And I spent all this time working in companies and, and building up a, a nice resume, nice portfolio. So even if I go in and decided, you know what, I'm gonna start working for a company, I can most likely ask for a remote position because I already have the background and the skills that is needed to do the job okay and now like I said I have a website called codingphase.com if you guys don't know about it uh, I basically teach you guys how to code right that's what I do <laughs> okay I teach you guys how to code but before I was even you know teaching people how to code or even got into YouTube like literally my whole thing was how can I prepare myself for one day you, you get what I'm saying like this is like a dream right this is like a dream come true to be honest with you this is just me saying like yo how can I quit my job where I was doing IT at the moment right I went to school graduated right graduated from school and, and did the whole school thing right and I realized you know the job that I was doing wasn't for me right I realized that you know, working a nine to five wasn't gonna be the thing for me. I needed to find a way to get out of that routine. And the only thing that I saw was programming, okay? Like I said, there's a lot of things that you can do out there, but I found that this was the easiest thing for me because I love to code, I love to be in a computer, right? I'm a little nerd when it comes to that, right? But I was like, you know what, man? This is the only thing that I can see somebody hiring me in the future not now that's how i was thinking like back in 2011 i'm like not now i don't think somebody's gonna hire me now remotely because i just started right back then um but in the future at some point i'm gonna be able to have the skills that i need to be able to say you know what let me work remotely you know and at some point i was able to acquire all the skills and, and learn everything that i needed and like now I pretty much get offers all the time from people like, hey man, we would love to have you on the team, man. You don't even have to work 40 hours a week. You could do 20 hours a week, right? And we will still pay you the full salary. Like literally, this, this is stuff that I get on my emails, right? Now, if I didn't take that step to learn how to code back then or even plan ahead, I don't think I would be able to be here. I mean, today is Tuesday. We came here yesterday, right? And, you know... I've been just working remotely. It, it, it's just crazy to me. You know what I mean? Like, this is something that I planned for back in 2011. 
and, and in my head, I, I thought I was going to be in Thailand. I thought I was going to be somewhere in the Philippines. I was going to be maybe in the Dominican Republic. I'm still in the United States, right? Uh, thank God I have a family. I have a beautiful wife, beautiful kids, right? So they keep me grounded here to the U.S. But at the same time, I can still take those those days of just like, hey, I just want to travel. Hey, man, let's just go out there to the world and, you know, spend a week anywhere in the world. And we could still be working remotely. Like currently right now, I'm not working for any company because I own my own company. But at the same time, it's crazy because it's like now I'm getting all of these offers from companies that want me to just work with them, work with their team. Right. There's companies that want me to do the back end, companies that want me to do the front end. Right. And it all started from HTML, CSS. You know, when people come in and they tell you, you got to know all of these different programming languages, you got to know all of the different skills. Yeah, you could try to become a master of everything, but even with just the basics, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, there's a lot of opportunities out there, okay? That's where you start off, okay? You learn how to code, very simple. You know, you put in the time, nothing much, nothing less, right? And it, it's going to pay you off in the long term. That's the thing that I want to tell you guys, right? That's why I'm here. It's going to pay off in the long term, but you got to have a plan. You can't just come here blindly. You gotta have a goal. You know, sorry for the noise. This is Ocean Drive, it's Miami. It's gonna be a lot of noise coming through here. But it is what it is. So, what I'm saying is, man, have a plan, have a goal, right? And even before even a plan, just start with a goal. What is it that you want out of this? Do you wanna learn how to code? Cool, learn how to code. Do you say, hey, I wanna be able to get a job? Cool, get yourself a job. Then from there, come in and say, you know what? How can I make sure I'm able to work remotely, right? You got two options. You could say, I'm going to start applying for companies, right? And, and showing them what I can do. Or you could say, hey, man, I'm going to open up my own damn business, okay? Sometimes we think like, yo, it's so difficult to open up a business. But in reality, it's not. It's not that difficult at all, okay? You set up an LLC. You go to LegalZoom.com. You set it up. Then from there, you start working on, let's say, for example, niche websites, which is how I'm able to survive, right? And then, that's it, you get out there. You know, somebody might be watching this and might think like, damn, this guy, he makes all his birth from making courses. You guys, I've been doing this for years. Two years before I even, you know, started like learning how to become an instructor, an online instructor and teaching people how to code and things like that. Right? and getting the skills and, and the confidence because to be honest with you this thing takes confidence I didn't want to do this at all right it, it was difficult to be like man am I gonna be, have to be in front of the camera am I gonna have to you know talk in front of people right I had to build up the confidence but at the same time you know even before that I was making money from my niche websites right that's how you actually think about this in, in the long term you got to start setting yourself up for success okay for you to get to where you want to get to, you need to start now. Don't leave it for last minute. Don't leave it for tomorrow. Just go in, man. Hey, right? go in, have a plan, have a goal, and you know, start working on those goals and, and and working towards those goals, right? Just to get there. It doesn't matter what you gotta do, right? That's just how it is. There was a lot of times that I wanted to quit, and I was like, man, you know, like learning how to code is not easy in the sense of like. In the beginning, you get stuck, you get problems with your terminal, you get problems with, you know, different errors that you might get and things like that. Sometimes you got to spend hours and hours trying to debug something. That was not easy, right? That was annoying, <laughs> to be honest with you. That was extremely annoying. But at the end of the day, I didn't quit. And I didn't quit because I knew where I wanted to get to. This was the only way for me. You get what I'm saying? Like, I don't know nobody that, that is able to live this lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? Like now I'm living a certain lifestyle that now I'm able to bring my family to this type of lifestyle, my friends to this type of lifestyle, right? I'm currently right here with one of my best friends uh, from New York here in Miami Beach and I'm able to bring him down, everything paid for, taking care of him, you know, whatever he wants, he's good. You know what I mean? And it's because, you know, I work hard. <laughs> You get what I'm saying? Like, when you work hard, these things, at the end, you're going to see a result, right? 
it's just like somebody who goes to the gym. I always tell you guys that learning how to code is just like somebody who goes to the gym, okay? You gotta go in, you do it every single day, right? At first, you're not seeing no results because you're like, oh, you're losing one pound, you're losing two pounds, right? And at first, you don't see no results. Six months later, you see the results. You're like, holy shoot, I lost 20, 30 pounds, you know? Then the next year, you continue, Holy shoot, now you start seeing a couple of little boxes in your stomach. You're like, oh shoot, I got the little squares. You know what I'm saying? I got a little six pack. That's how it is. You start working. You go one, you know, one step at a time and that's it. You get it done. You know, that's just how it is, guys. I just want to let you guys know, you know, if you really want to become a remote worker, a remote developer, it's very easy. Just start today, learn how to code, okay? Uh, anybody that's interested in learning how to code and you want a affordable option, right? You don't want to go to a boot camp. You don't want to go to college. You don't want to do none of those things, right? You can definitely check out my website, codingface.com, just like how it is right there on the title of, of my <laughs> my hat, right? Uh, the logo. Yeah, codingface.com. Check it out, man. But it's just crazy. I woke up right now, you know. I had a, a great time last night. And I'm like, damn, man, like literally the things that I was dreaming about is coming into fruition, right? Things are actually happening. And, you know, it wasn't done in one day, right? It wasn't done in one day, but it happens, right? You come in, you do your work. I say at the end, it's going to happen for you. 